I think from me personally to start with, um, he knew I was a player coach. Um, when he, when he, before he got introduced to the players, uh, I was asked to go and see him. So I went down and seen him, and he, and he, he made a million dollars. He, he made you feel like you were, you were the one of the best players out there. Um, he took me down. He, he took me. If you've ever been behind the scenes at Warsaw, there's the manager's office. There's a little canteen next to it, and he went right. So this is where it happens in the morning. He said, I have my tea. He says, one one sugar, level the water poured in, and then I have the milk on top, and I like it strong. So my first things in the morning was to knock on his door, see where he'd got a cup of tea. Uh, no, I'll have another one, because he always liked his cup of tea. And he took me into the, his room and he sat me down. He goes, you're one of the lucky ones because I know all about you. He said, I tried to buy, buy you when you were at, well, I was at Southampton. He said, but I couldn't afford you. He, he said, so I, I want you within this team to play a, a role that I think will, will be pivotal to what we, what we want. But then... He came down to the, the dressing room. I, I went back to the dressing room with the lads and all the lads are going, oh, you know, I think everybody sort of got an idea who, who it was. And the first meeting was quite funny because I think he virtually pushed Jeff Bonser out the door, said, thank you very much. You know, we're, you know, thank you, chairman and what have you. And he told Tom Bradley, who was the physio at the time, to stand by the door. And he, he got round and he all he did was he took his coat off and he you know the doors have sometimes got these little angles on the doors where you, you they just what when they come open and so it slowly closes really and he put his coat up on the on the top and he just rolled his sleeves up you can see him now rolling his sleeves up and he went tom open that door he went i want promotion and everybody sort of, you know, no, I want promotion. If you don't think you're ready, get up, walk out that door, and we'll sort your contract out. Because he'd been, wherever he'd been, he'd, he'd got promotion. You know, Grimsby had got promotion, Southampton. He, he, he was, like I said earlier, he was ahead of his time in, in the way he saw it. You know, people talk about playing a 4-2-3-1 system. That's how we played at Warsaw, really. It was counter-attack football, you know. And when did that come in? That came in about 15 years after Chris had, you know, finished. But he was so ahead of his time and his thinking, but he he wanted to play a certain way. And he he played that way and he didn't expect you to change it. If you're losing 1-0, you, you had to, you know, when people say, oh, he never had a plan B, it's plan B, play better, be better, you know. and he he was a character. He was a strong character. He 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 knew what he wanted, and you 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 knew what what was expected of you. Um, he he most probably was very strong on the people that he knew he could do. I think we were beating Barnet four 0 at half time in a in a game around Christmas, and I'd got two goals and laid two on. And he came in and I'd let I'd let, lay the ball off right on half time and give them an opportunity to go and have a tack at us. And he picked on it straight away. And it was like to say, Well, no, you ain't getting this. You ain't gonna let you know, I ain't gonna let you get away with it. And I we, I went out to have a I'd wash my hands and whatever just before I went back out. And he came in and went, Well done, brilliant, you know, doing what I want and you're coming off in a bit. Because we we then had to play Rochdale the following day at Rochdale, you know it wasn't like you used to get your two and three days off. You you know the next day was Rochdale away, and I remember we we won the game four 0 against Barnet. Then we played Rochdale the next day, and we won three 0 And but he he was very honest. He he was a, a good tactician. He he knew what he wanted from his side, and it was drilled into us right from the very first day. And walking in that dressing room and telling people I want promotion. So mentally straight away, people knew what, what it was all about and what he wanted.